Still on matters agriculture and cane farmers from western region have raised concern over plans by the government to extend the time frame for duty-free importation of sugar into the country. The farmers say the cane milling industries are already severely affected by the already imported sugar. According to the unions of cane farmers from the region, the increased importation of sugar in the country will continue to negatively impact on the economy of this region, which is heavily dependent on cane cultivation. Bramuel Buire with the details. The Western Anyanza sugar belt heavily depends on cane farming for its economic livelihoods. Although the sugar sector has survived serious problems, the hope of its revival was high when President William Ruto took the reins of leadership two years ago. In July last year, the government, in an effort to cushion Kenyans from the skyrocketing prices, authorized the importation of 180 metric tons of sugar, a move that followed a four-month closure of cane factories to pave way for cane maturity. During this period, sugar was being imported. Stakeholders in the sugar sector are now afraid that there is another conspiracy to extend the time frame to import sugar. If implemented, the farmers say it will disrupt the cane milling factories, which are still not allowed to crush cane to their capacities. They should not allow continuous extension of uh, sugar-free imports because we know that there are certain individuals who have been earmarked to benefit from these sugar-free imports. In a point here, then in a part of Kwamba factories, Ambao Watakwa Mesiaga Miwa, Watakosa Kupata market Yakuza Skariao Kosababu, Skarambay Mingia, Nimingi, Na Wala Mbao Meleta Wana Wezo, so wana flood the market, they sell their sugar at a cheaper price. They say that if this issue is not addressed quickly, then the government's agenda to list government industries may not succeed as no investor will want to invest in a collapsing sector. It will even discourage the leasing process that they are talking about. There's no investor who will come to, to, to invest in, a, in, a, in an industry where there is no protection of his business. Wakati AFA in a, in a, in a penal directive to the, to the factories to produce at, at a lower capacity than what they are installed to, to produce. In a manisha, they are incurring a higher cost at crushing than what they should be uh, incurring. And therefore, those costs that they incur to crush less than their capacity are passed to the producer, the innocent farmer. And with the plans to increase the time frame for importing sugar, it is imperative for the government through the Ministry of Agriculture to reassess the standards and capacity of industries to crush cane in order to save the local farmer who entirely depends on the crop. Bramwen Bire, KT News, Kisumu.